Okay, I am back. Ready for part two of four. Or four of four of four. Two of two, technically. And this room sucks. Um Yeah. It sucks a lot. really isn't much to say other than then it sucks a lot. Because it does. You'll see why in a minute. You see those up there? In the ceiling? All of that? Those are boulder traps. They suck. to learn this combination out of uh, trial and error. And I didn't write it down. <laughs> I should have. I think this is it. Uh, Both of these switches don't lead to the same area, but one of them actually has the magnums that we were missing. So I'm going for it. Save here. I think. Yeah. These precious, precious magnums. The other side is actually where we need to go. Okay, this part... Button wasn't working. This part. Time and jumps. And this part we gotta land. Right there. on my Uzi ammo. But I probably should because Uzis are kind of... kind of shit.
There's a secret down there that I'm not gonna bother with, but it's for a full oh not a full health, but um Is it a full health pack? Is that what they're called? The larger ones? I'm honestly not too sure. Right when I ran out. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the magnums. Start using these up a little bit. Up until now, the enemies have been kind of easy. As much as I hate to say it. I hate this stage. I didn't know I can get up on that part. Each of these blocks, if you can't tell, open up a door across from me. However, each of these doors are timed, starting as soon as I step off of it. The door on the left is actually the easiest one to get to. So I'm going for that because it'll cut time down just a, just enough. This jump I'm not too great at. Ooh, I actually made it that time. Surprisingly, this stage is actually shorter than the last. As long as you know what to do. But, I don't know, maybe even then, even if you don't know what you're doing, the stage is actually pretty short. Because it, it's pretty straightforward, I would say. Take damage. 
I remember that. No, you're supposed to walk. There you go. Can't wait till I use my own settings. It's gonna be nice. From here, Ooh, I didn't know about these. Now, if you're wondering what the stage might be called, it's called the Hive. Which you will easily find out soonish. Not really soon, but kind of soon. Why it's called the hive. Oh wait, what am I doing? more of this ammo. I will need a lot of it. Although preferably later you do want to use the shotgun for a couple key parts. Oops. That was my bad. This part sucks. Here you probably want to use... I don't know. I would say Uzis. Because you can just run right back up here where I am. First you gotta trigger them. You can use the pistols, but I do prefer a quicker method. Oops, that wasn't my bad. Side, you fuck. She's turning. Come on, where'd you go? One more. I'm just gonna go head to head. Okay, if I remember right, there are Only two switches that we need to pull, but I think there might be another. I don't remember. I think only two. It's both of these.
Maybe only one, because I think both of these might lead to the same place. I guess we're going to find out, though. Platform. So we want to go here. Take a running jump. Yeah, we don't have to go over there. It's only for a couple items. Useful items, if you still want to go over there. I think it's shotgun shells and a health pack. Maybe a couple of shells. Okay, this is the door that we opened. Let me check. Yeah, they both go to the same area. I think one of them might trigger this enemy a bit. A bit late for that. Some more shotgun. Sig Sig. I like Sig Sig. Now this area right here is why this level is called the Hive. <sighs> From my understanding of going through it and everything, I think I realize now what triggers off the enemies. Basically what you have to do, stand on the center platform, which opens up a door. From there, that's like trigger number one for the enemies. That means that the rest of the triggers will actually set it off. The rest of the triggers, they are the floor itself. Each floor square will trigger one, two, maybe five or six different enemies, I don't know. What I do know is that I really dislike this. Oh shit, that was the one that opened up. So they're not triggered yet. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to stay in the center here after I trigger off an enemy or two. Because I don't know if they can actually reach me up here. But this is the part why you want to keep your shotgun ammo. I didn't do anything. So that's a safe floor. This one won't be. What are you shooting at? You don't even see him. Apparently that only triggered one. I could just go right through. Or at least try. Uh, I don't know if I should risk it. Because I know that the enemy went down that hall, but I think it might have also gone down 
the area that I need to. And I know as soon as I step on these ones, it's going to trigger off all the others. not think I could do that. for the slaughter. That was beautiful. Boop. Or don't. Oh shit, that was more. Six bullets. I think I might have more than enough. Oh, definitely enough health. This room up ahead is why it's called the hive. here. Haha, -ha, bitch! All these freaking eggs. But of course, you don't have to fight any of it. And this is the exit. Yay! End game. Sadly, though, there are no FMV sequences or anything like that. It's just supposed to be credits. But for some reason, it's not reading my CD. So it's just going to be black. But anyways, that's the end of Tomb Raider. And again, I'm hoping next week I will have the DJ set uploaded and all that. So until then, take care.